Good morning, students. Welcome back to our biology class. I am here, your George Sar, in front of you with a new topic that is cell cycle and cell division. How are you all? I hope all of you are fine. Stay at home and be safe. Okay. Before starting the topic, I have a request to all biology students that please subscribe my YouTube channel because nowadays you are getting all the subject in our common school uh, channel that is a school YouTube channel. But you feel sometimes confusion which subject you have to learn or you don't get the sequential order of that subject. Now I am subscribing all the sequential part of biology lesson in my channel so you can get it very clearly according to the order that's why I told you to subscribe my channel it is up to you if you have interest you can subscribe otherwise no problem this is my youtube channel if you like you can subscribe okay are you ready we can start our topic cell division and cell cycle before starting the topic just we can discuss the points which we learned in last year regarding cell theory all of you listen you already learned who discovered cell at first? Robert Hooke in 1665 discovered the cell at first. Later on in 1673, Anton van Leeuwenhoek discovered a living cell. It was a single celled organism. Followed by them in 1838. Matthias Schleden found that all plant parts are made of cells. Followed by Schleden, in 1839, Theorishon found out that all animal parts are made of cells. Finally, in 1858, Rudolf Virchow concluded that all cells are arising from the pre-existing one so these are the points of cell theory from this we have to take the last point what it is rudolf Virchow state that all cells are arising from a pre-existing one or a new cells can form from a pre-existing one next we can start what are the needs of cell division why it is required in a living organism cell division is important for the following purpose first one is growth in every living organism growth take place by the cell division Next, repair and replacement. In our day-to-day -day life, there is wear and tear. By this process, many cells get damaged or when a cell completed its life period, it will die. So, in the place of these dead cells and in the place of these damaged cells, new cells need to form. The formation of new cells take place by cell division only. Next, it helps in reproduction. Lower organisms like bacteria and amoeba. New daughter cells are formed by cell division only. Which type of cell division it is? By mitotic cell division. But in higher form, like human and trees, 
there is a special type of cells present in the reproductive organ it undergo a special type of cell division that is meiosis by meiosis cell division what will form haploid gametes are forming what are gametes sex cells we are calling as gametes that are eggs and sperm what is the meaning of haploid having half number of chromosome in a normal body cells having 46 number of chromosome but uh, that is sperm and eggs having only 23 number of chromosome in each then during the time of fertilization at the formation of zygote the 23 chromosome from the egg and 23 chromosome from the sperm will unite to form 46 chromosome in a zygote like this way chromosomal number maintained in a living organism by meiotic cell division or by meiosis next we can discuss cell cycle what is a cell cycle it is the time period from one cell division to the next cell division it has two main phases first one is a known dividing phase that we can call interphase and second one is a dividing phase that we can call M phase or mitosis these are the two main phases of a cell cycle but interphase itself having three phases what are the three phases of interphase first one is G1 phase or first growth phase or gap one second one is synthesize phase or third one is G2 phase or second growth phase so these are the three phases of interphase first one is G1 phase second one is S phase and third one is G2 phase or second growth phase after completing second growth phase what is will happen a cell undergo a cell division that is mitotic cell division mitotic cell division get completed by two stages what are they karyokinesis and cytokinesis what is the meaning of karyo karyo means nucleus kinesis means division so karyokinesis means division of nucleus and followed by cytokinesis cyto means cytoplasm and kinesis means division division of cytoplasm karyokinesis take place by four stages or it get completed by four stages what are the four stages occurring karyokinesis they are prophase metaf prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase these are the four stages which comes in karyokinesis so we can learn each phase very clearly now let us learn the first phase of mitotic cell division that is early prophase in early prophase some changes occur in a cell that are centrion start moving apart and reach opposite pole first what will happen the centriol will duplicate and after duplication it started to move opposite pole of the cell next chromosome distinct that means we can see chromosome during this phase okay prophase is the longest phase of the mitotic cell division 
okay chromosomes become distinct next chromosomes already duplicated and that duplicated chromosomes we can called as the chromatid or sister chromatids next sister chromatids attached to each other at a small region that is small region we can called as the centromere already we learn in the previous class what is the centromere it is the attaching point of two sister chromatids these are the changes occur during the early prophase or prophase first next we can discuss late prophase during late prophase what are the changes occur in a cell spindle fiber will appear these are the spindle fiber these are the spindle fiber it will appear around the centriole this is the centriole around the centriole what will appear spindle fiber will appear next step nuclear membrane this is the nuclear membrane nuclear membrane and nucleolus will disappear from the cell these are the changes occur during the late prophase so once again spindle fiber will appear around the centriole these are the spindle fiber next nuclear membrane and nucleolus will disappear these are the changes occur during late prophase next second stage is known as metaphase metaphase in metaphase what will happen each chromosomes get attached to spindle fiber by its centromere so these are the chromosome these chromosomes are attached with the spindle fiber in the central part that we can called as the centromere chromosomes line up in one plane at the equator next all the chromosomes get arranged in the middle part of the cell or at the equator of the cell these are the changes occur during met metaphase is it clear next we can discuss the third phase of mitotic cell division that is anaphase in anaphase there are two stages early anaphase and late anaphase in early anaphase what will happen the spindle fiber will started to pull the sister chromatid to the opposite pole of the cell so towards this the spindle fiber pull the sister chromatid okay then in early anaphase the position of this sister chromatid is very near that means it is some part of the middle of the cells but in late anaphase what will happen to already the length of the spindle fiber will reduce and finally this sister chromatid will reach in the opposite pole of the cell and in the case of animal cell a small furrow will form in the middle of the cell these are the changes occur during early anaphase and late anaphase come to the last phase that is telophase of mitotic cell division during telophase what will happen to the furrow which formed during late anaphase get deepen and already what reached the sister chromatid reached in the opposite pole and it became as a chromatic thread next spindle fiber will disappear from the cell and nuclear membrane will form during this phase next nucleolus also will appear and the cleavage furrow start deepening in the animal cells all these are the changes occur during the telophase once again a furrow which formed during late anaphase get deepen further and further 
and already sister chromatid reached and they will become as a chromatin thread and nuclear membrane will reappear the same time nucleoli or nucleolus also reappear and spindle fiber will disappear from the cell all these are the changes occur during telophase is it clear followed by the telophase the next process of mitotic cell division is cytokinesis what is that cytokinesis cytokinesis means division of cytoplasm during cytokinesis the cytoplasm will divide and like this way two daughter cells will form so these are the steps which occur during mitotic cell division listen once again mitotic cell division get completed by two stages first one is karyokinesis and second one is cytokinesis karyokinesis itself having four stages what are they prophase first prophase second or early prophase and late prophase next metaphase third early anaphase and late anaphase fourth one is telophase these are the four stages of karyokinesis what is karyokinesis division of nucleus then followed by karyokinesis next process which occur that is cytokinesis cytokinesis means division of cytoplasm then like this way by mitotic cell division two daughter cells will form which having same number of chromosomes is it clear okay let me to ask some question from this topic first who discovered cell at first robert hook discovered cell at first in 1665 next who discovered living cell and then van leeuwen hook discovered living cell in 1673 Next, who proposed cell theory? Matthias Leiden, Theodor Schön, and Rudolf Virchow togetherly proposed the the cell theory. What was the point of Matthias Leiden in cell theory? Matthias Leiden found that all plant parts are made of cells. what was the contribution of theodor schon in cell theory theodor schon found out that all animals are composed of cells and what was the contribution of rudolf virchow in cell theory rudolf virchow state that all new all new cells are forming from a pre existing cell that was the contribution of rudolf virchow so by this three biologists what formed cell theory formed next we discussed cell cycle cell cycle what is a cell cycle it is the period of time from one cell division to the next cell division what are the two phases of cell cycle cell cycle consists of two main phases first one is a non dividing phase that is interphase and second one is a dividing phase that we can call as mitosis or m phase interphase itself how many phases are there intercell itself sorry interphase itself having three phases they are g1 phase s phase and g2 phase next what are the four stages present in the mitotic cell division or mitotic cell division can completed by two steps what are the two step which occur in mitotic cell division first one is karyokinesis and second one is cytokinesis 
listen karyokinesis undergo four stages they are prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase after completing telophase which process will take place next cytokinesis cytokinesis means division of cytoplasm and karyokinesis means division of nucleus next we can discuss the four stages which occur in karyokinesis in prophase first and second what are the changes occur in a cell centriole start moving apart and reach opposite pole chromosomes become distinct chromosomes are already duplicated as paired chromatids sister chromatids attached to each other at a small region called centromere spindle fibers appear between daughter centrioles forming the achromatic spindle nuclear membrane and nucleolus will disappear these are the changes occur during prophase first and second next in metaphase what are the changes occur in a cell each chromosomes get attached to spindle by its centromere and chromosomes lined in one plane at equator or all the chromosome will arrange in the middle of the cells these are the changes occur during metaphase anaphase also there are two stage early and late in anaphase centromere attaching to two sister chromatid divide or split that means that is spindle fiber will pull the sister chromatid towards the opposite pole the two sister chromatid of each chromosome separate and are drawn apart towards opposite pole pulled by shortening of spindle fiber the movement will take place by shortening of spindle fiber fin uh, spindle fiber length will reduce by the reduction of the length what will also move that is sister chromatid also started to move the positive pole and finally a small furrow will appear on the cell that is happening during early anaphase and late anaphase and finally in telophase the two set of daughter chromosomes reach in opposite pole spindle fiber disappear chromatin thin sorry chromatids thin out in the form of chromatin fiber nuclear membrane is formed the cleavage furrow start deepening in the animal cell nucleoli reappear these are the changes occur during telophase next followed by karyokinesis or followed by telophase the next process of mitosis is cytokinesis division of cytoplasm during this process cleavage furrow deepen totally in animal cells and separate the two daughter cells so by cyto uh, cytokinesis what will form two daughter cells will form so these are the points we have to remember in mitotic cell division each stages are sorry each stages is very important so based on each stage diagrammatic question can come from this part so learn very clearly what are the changes occur in each stage so you learn the picture very clearly then only you can understand that it changes okay revise this much i will come with a new video in next week class till then bye